job is to bring smiles and a moment of happiness to your children. But one local ice cream truck driver is accused of doing something much more sinister. Take a look. This is 33-year-old Eric Peña Carrillo, and he's accused of touching himself in front of two young girls. One of the girls' mothers spoke only with 10 on your side's David Culver. And David, how did she react to the news of that arrest? Uh, Katie, she was extremely emotional. In fact, even before our interview started, she just wanted to rush out of the room, go home, and tell her daughter of the news of Carrillo's arrest. Now, still as a mother, she worries. She worries and wonders about her daughter's future. And for this to happen, it takes so much innocence away. You know, so it's like you got to be on extra guard with your kids. Even going this Newport News mother of four felt rage, anger, and relief all over the course of one week. She asked us to protect her identity as she described her 10-year-old daughter's alleged interaction with the man driving the Blue Bunny ice cream truck. She said the ice cream truck man said something to her, you know, derogatory. The little girl and her friends say the man then touched himself. Newport News police issued warrants for Eric Garillo's arrest. We went to his Portsmouth home before officers arrived. We spoke with some of his co-workers there. They seemed surprised, insisting it was the wrong person. We wanted to learn more about the company Carrillo worked for. Had they ever received complaints about him before? How will they respond to these new charges? They proved hard to track down at their Norfolk location. Yeah, the problem is there's no entrance. We've gone to two sides now. Now we're at another side from somebody else's property trying to get their attention. Every time they look at us, they shake their head and they walk away. No comment from the local company. Blue Bunny's headquarters issued a statement saying Carrillo is not their employee and that he was driving a truck leased by another company. As for Carrillo, he was eventually picked up at his Portsmouth home and taken to Newport News Police headquarters. The alleged victim's mother wonders if more victims will come forward. If he did this to her, who else has he done it to? All right, here's the latest as far as Carrillo's concerned. At this hour, he's being held behind bars right here at Newport News Jail. He faces one count of indecent exposure, two counts of indecent liberties with a child. Live in Newport News, I'm David Culver, 10 on your side. All right, David, thank you.